Bloomberg. This is Market Makers. I'm Sarah Eisen. 175,000 jobs created in this country during the month of May. But on the downside, April's figure, the month before, was revised lower, and the unemployment rate rose to 7.6 percent. With us now, Ed Lazier of the Hoover Institution. He was the chairman of the Council of Economic Advisors under President George W. Bush. He's a preeminent labor economist in this country, joining us from Stanford University. Good to see you, Professor Lazier. Reaction to nice to today's jobs you. report. To me, it seems like there's just enough good news to keep the improvement going, but sort of enough bad news to keep the Fed also pumping its record stimulus. <laughs> Uh, yes, that's right. I mean, if you look at this report, it's a, it's a pretty flat report. There are a couple of things in it, though, that are somewhat subtle. So, you know, rather than focusing on the obvious, let, let me just make a couple of points that I think are uh, things that people don't look at quite as much. Yesterday, I had a piece in the Wall Street Journal where I talked about the employment to population ratio, or the that's called the employment rate. And to me, uh, and I think to most labor economists, actually, the bottom line is not so much unemployment and whether people are discouraged or not. That's a sort of a difficult question. So the easiest way to get at that is simply to look at the proportion of uh, the working age population that actually is employed. And that's the number that really cuts to the chase. If you look at that number, boy, it has just been flat. And I mean flat for three years. But, you know, if you go back a year ago, it was 58.6. In January, it was 58.6. Last month, it was 58.6. This month, it was 58.6. If you go back to 2006, 2007, it was 63.4. Right. So the problem is that we've lost a lot of jobs and we're basically gaining jobs at a rate that's just slightly better than the growth of the population. And that's that's really the problem. And I think that's why uh, your uh, initial introduction where you said, gee, you know, there's a yeah. there's a little bit of good news, a little bit of bad news. It's kind of flat. That's that really is an accurate description of what we're seeing. So the question then is, what is the policy prescription for this? The Fed has shown that it is all in and fighting the high unemployment rate. And your paper at Jackson Hole, I remember, one of the definitive papers showing yeah. that it is a cyclical problem. In other words, it's not structural and not necessarily permanent damage. Well, that's right, and thank you for remembering that. Uh, I, I do think it is a cyclical problem. Uh, the difficulty at this point, actually, it's two things. First of all, uh, if we look at the history and we say, well, look, you know, the Fed's been at this for a long time, and, uh, you know, there's not a lot of evidence that it's been particularly effective. I think that the Fed's policy was effective at the first part of the financial crisis when you go back to uh, 2008 and even before that, 2007. Uh, but uh, in the past couple of years, I think we've rapidly reached the point of diminishing returns. So while I do believe it's a cyclic phenomenon, the issue is what can we do about it and does the Fed have the uh, tools to get us back on track? I think at this point, most observers are starting to believe that the, the Fed has actually run out of gas on, on this sort of thing. So that's really the issue. Uh, it's not so much that the economy is getting better. It's right. not so much that it's time to stop. It's really that uh, the question is whether there's anything they can do about it. All right. Well, thank you for sharing your perspective. Uh, we know it's certainly as valuable as one of the best-known labor economists in this country. Ed Lazier is the former chairman of the Council of Economic Advisors now at Stanford University. Eric?